So today we're off on a little road trip. Declan is back where he belongs with me. No. Cheesy. Um, but yeah, we are on a road trip today. So, okay, Google. Okay. That's my other one. <laughs> You're shouting at him all the time. It's not me, it's Google. <laughs> um, yeah, so we are on our way up to Dublin to collect Sophie because we're going to go to the set of the Disney movie Disenchanted, which is where? Uh, and it's scary. Um, and yeah, Sophie and I have been dying to go see it since um, they set up. So as it's Sophie's birthday next week, I said it'd be a great opportunity to meet her uh, before her birthday. Um, I also haven't seen her in... 16 months. I actually don't even think I saw her at all in 2020. So it would be nearly 18, 19 months, which is crazy seeing as Sophie and I used to always see each other. Like in Dublin, we'd have a concert like at least once a month. Um, so yeah, and I have Sophie's present. Sophie's present is in this bag. Declan bought this bag in the Disney store in Belfast. But uh, yeah, we're on the road now and I shall check in later. updated there's Sophie it's been how long has it been since we've seen each other I was trying to think earlier on it was 2019 because we did we see each other at the beginning of 2020 in January or February I can't remember neither can I and I was in London in, in January and then in February I was prepping for my surgery so I don't really remember seeing anyone so the last time we probably saw each other was September October September October of 2019. Madness. Anyway, we went to Enniscary, saw the town hall, all the cute little shops, and then we said we would go to the Pink House, which is in East Grey Avenue in Greystones. Greystones. Um, and it's all blocked off because they're clearly recording. So we're going to have to come back, but we are coming back on the, 9th, the 18th. The 18th. Um, so they're filming. So pro tip. If you are coming, they're filming from the 14th to the 18th um, in Enniscary. So if you do want to see the pink house, I probably think recommending to come between those days because they won't be filming there. And then if you do want to actually see some of the filming, come between the 14th and the 18th. Uh, yeah, so well, that's if you're going to be let in. Yeah, if you're let in, um, which they probably will because it is they can't block off the whole area. You no, probably be able to see. Quite, the buildings are quite big and stuff as well, so like yeah. you'll be able to see them from you. Yeah, from numerous um, angles and points. I but feel like I'm on a roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, Declan's a bit woo! <laughs> Being a bit of a boy racer here. I'm not I'm trying to avoid potholes. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah he knows how much they hurt me. Oh, bit of a sweetheart. Sap. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we are on our way into Bray now to get a white burger. Um, yeah, disappointing I didn't get to the pink house, but another day. Oh, well. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I got that on camera! <laughs> So today is now Sunday and uh, I've had a very busy morning, excuse the hack of me. Uh, I've been up early uh, making sandwiches and baking. So Declan and I are having a picnic today in Emo Court with Darina and Podge and I've made lots of goodies. I'm going to show you a sneak peek of what I have made and then I have to go get ready and go to Emo. There's my, my sous chef for today. I'm usually his sous chef. <laughs>
excuse the heck of me I just after taking off my mask it's very warm in the car um mom has just gone to pay for her parking uh we actually went on a nice little gals trip to Newbridge um so I ruined my dress yesterday getting ready for the picnic I put makeup on it and the foundation didn't come out so mom was like uh, let me bring it to Newbridge tomorrow and replace the dress that is destroyed. So we did, successful. Um, and then we just wandered around the shops. It's been a long time since Mum and I had done this because the only other place that Mum has ever brought me in like the last 18 months is the hospital appointments. So she was like, I need a break. I want to treat you and spend time with you. So yeah, when I'm going to have a cheeky McDonald's uh, on me, I want to treat her. I know I can't bring her anywhere to actually treat her, but uh, she's happy with a McDonald's. So yeah, it is so hot in the car. Oh my God, <laughs> ridiculous, but not complaining. Love Ireland in the heat. I am far too tired to actually do a proper try on haul, but I just want to show you the few bits I picked up in pennies. So this is the dress that I destroyed yesterday. I managed to spill some foundation all along here and after several washes my mom couldn't get it out but we're going to keep the top part and try and see if I can get a meta into top and use like all the remaining bottom part for like masks and stuff so got another one of them then I got these oh oh my god sorry Ooh. um I got these they're long kind of culottes and just something nice and easy to wear when working um then look at this i finally found the thumper jumper and um, that rhymes thumper jumper um yeah got it in medium i was going to get a large but the large looked far too big and then i got this gorgeous gorgeous um flowy dress it would be much better if i actually tried it on oh yeah I got this dress yesterday in Dawn Stores. Um, stunning for 25 euro. If you see it, keep an eye out for it. But yeah, this dress, I cannot wait to wear it in summer. And then, let me just show you, stage in my room, excuse me. I got this for here to kind of clear it up. It's very modeled with all my medication. So I got this then to put all my sleep sprays and hand sanitizers and stuff. And then where's the other thing hang on then we got this so like they have in the moment they have at the moment this option so you see my makeup thing oh is it focus makeup thing that's a smaller version of this um so i got this as well to put here and then my idea is to put this on top of it just to kind of make it nice and tidy and then the last bit of shopping i had is from eason's i know book nerd but i've seen great things about this book and i really want to get it because i love my um self-help guides and then this book i have been looking everywhere for this book um this is an amazing book I've, I've been reading it actually on my library app but emma Barnett is an endometriosis suffer sufferer and she talks so openly and honestly about her life with the condition and about all the taboos and misconceptions about periods in the world so yeah i uh, highly recommend that and uh, yeah and that's my haul from today I am just going to end the vlog here because I am very tired. Busy weekend of socialising and gallivanting, but it's so lovely to have some bit of normality. Even though, like, I'm still very, very anxious about socialising and interacting with people and going places because I'm still not vaccinated. Um, it's a different discussion, very long, complex discussion. But uh, yeah, still waiting for my GP to vaccinate me. Uh, but yeah, it's nice to have some normality and it was nice to have a day trip with my mum today. Even though it was just a new bridge, it was still nice to get out and yeah. So yeah, if you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe, leave a comment and yeah, I'll see you guys soon.